All right, now that you've had a chance to try some of these problems, let's go ahead and work them out together. And let's talk about some of the really cool conversations that came up. So what would we do to solve this inequality? Subtract 12 from both sides. And why subtract 12? Exactly. Isolates the x, cancels out the 12, and we're going to keep that inequality. Should I flip the inequality or should I leave it the way it is? Leave it. Why do I leave it? Exactly. If I don't multiply or divide by a negative, I'm going to leave the inequality as is. And then 5 minus 12 is negative 7. If I want to graph this on the number line, here's 0, over here is negative 7, over here is positive 7. X is less than negative 7. So that's going to go, I don't include the 7. I'm going below negative 7 in the opposite direction. Notice how when my x is on the left, my arrow points the same way as my inequality. Pretty cool, right? The question of how you could check this came up, and I'm so glad because some of you are having this conversation. You were debating whether or not you should flip the inequality, and then I asked you to check and see if the answer was correct. If you were to plug in negative 7 plus 12, is less than 5, you would get 5 is less than 5. Is that true? 5 is not less than 5. So that actually didn't really check out. So what I would suggest is start with an e equation. Because you're solving this the same way you solve an e equation, an e equation, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, an equation, okay? Then that is true. 5 is equal to 5. What if I wanted to know... Am I shading in the right direction? Because some of you were debating in your group. You were saying, I think you're supposed to flip the inequality. And others were saying, no, you shouldn't. How do you, how do you know if x is truly less than negative 7? Let's say you flipped it and you chose 0. Is 0 in your solution set right now, currently? Is it in your shaded area? No. Let's say you made a mistake and you put 0 in your shaded area, you flipped the inequality. This is very common. People often forget, when am I supposed to flip it? When am I not supposed to flip it? This is a very common question. Let's say you picked x equals 0, and you plugged it in, and you got 12 is less than 5. 